for once I'm actually excited about a driver release. And it's not because something on my system isn't working like it should. So a few weeks ago, Mesa 23.0 was released and added into Arch Linux testing. Now the general gaming performance on Linux is pretty good. It's not perfect. Usually it's a couple FPS lower than what you would see over on the Windows side. But it's not so great you're going to notice it on a day-to-day -day basis. It's more like a thing that shows up in a graph. But one of the major areas of concern is stutter from shader compilation. And this update is going to help to address that. And this is now especially important as one of the popular solutions to deal with stutter has now been dropped. Back with the release of Proton GE 7.45 in January, the deprecated broken DXVK async patch was dropped. Now, even though it was broken in many ways, it still gave a good experience for a lot of users. One of the major issues it had is sometimes it would break if you change Proton versions and didn't clear out your DXVK cache. But when it was working, it mostly did its job. The only issue is it was kind of a hack to not deal with the shader compilation stutters. What it did is made the system not wait for the shaders to compile and just kept going. It would then compile the shaders as other things are happening. It's asynchronous. The issue here though is uh, while it did avoid the stutter, it could introduce graphical bugs such as seeing through walls. Now. This is generally just annoying with any game you're playing, but can be a serious problem if we're talking about a competitive game. And that's a big part of the reason why DXVK Async never got upstreamed into mainline DXVK and only existed as a patch set and as a part of Proton GE. The other reason is there were some early reports of people being banned while using this. The idea is the anti-cheat system sees this sort of like x-ray hacking. Now, while there were reports for games like Warframe, Overwatch, GTA Online, none of these were really substantiated outside of the reports from the user. They very well could have been banned for another reason, and this was during the period where Linux wasn't treated as a serious platform. A lot of these reports were way before the Steam Deck, and a lot of developers just didn't know what to do with Linux users. And besides just being broken, the reason why DXVK Async is being dropped is for this new solution inside of Mesa. This is called, it's a very wordy name, VKEXT Graphics Pipeline Library. That's way too many words, so no one calls it that. Usually it's just getting called RADV perf test equals GPL, which is the option to enable it, with GPL meaning graphics pipeline, not the GNU public license. While I'm talking about this in the context of Mesa 23.0, this is not the first version that actually added the feature. It was first added back in 22.3.0 towards the end of last year, as we can see from this one here. Uh, this one here. Initial implementation of VK EXT graphics pipeline library and add a very initial implementation of VK EXT graphics pipeline library. First added with this merger right here. And like many initial implementations, it's initial, it is not perfect. This experimental and very suboptimal implementation of graphics pipeline library shouldn't be used by anyone except for development purposes. It's still under active development from my side. This extension is only exposed via RADV perf test equals GPL anyway. So while it technically could be used back then, it was not in a state that was worth talking about. Mesa 23.0 though, this is the first time it's actually ready to use. It's still not perfect, that's why it's only exposed via an option, but it is good enough we can actually use it. By Mesa 23.1, it should be enabled by default. Now, even though we are talking about Mesa, the underlying feature we are talking about 
is a Vulcan feature, and this is implemented in the NVIDIA driver as well. From my understanding, it was added in 515.49.10. Is that new? Is that old? I have no idea. I don't use NVIDIA. Now, for a full explanation of all the nerd details, everything going on in the background, how the pipeline comes together, everything that needs to be done in Vulk, and all that fun stuff, do be sure to go and read the Kronos blog. A lot of it is outside of my area of expertise, but there is a little bit that is important to read. Kronos has introduced a new pipeline extension named VKEXT Graphics Pipeline Library that allows for shaders to be compiled much earlier than a full pipeline state object PSO creation time. And also this over here. Actually, I've got it already opened. This extension allows partial compilation of portions of graphics pipelines, improving the performance of pipeline compilation for applications that have a large number of materials, large amounts of dynamic state, or continuously stream in new material definitions. Basically, do things earlier, do things independently, make less stutter. That's the simple explanation. At least that's the goal. Now, one of the major differences between this and DXVK Async is this is being done directly with the support of the GPU drivers, which should give you a lot more control over what shaders probably should be done when to make sure that, you know, walls aren't being seen through. It's being done directly on the GPU. And the way this happened is... This isn't just some random thing that was proposed. This was proposed by people working at the companies making the GPUs, along with other companies. We have people from AMD, we have people from Qualcomm, ARM, NVIDIA, I don't know who Mobica is, there's people from Unity, there's some Ubisoft people in here, there's a Roblox person, I don't know why they're here, but all of these people are involved in the places where implementing this would actually matter. And that's how it got implemented. And we definitely cannot forget Valve. Every time Valve is going to be here. Now, all of that is great, but the important thing is what are the results? How does it perform? Is it actually good for gaming? And luckily, someone has already done this test for me. This starts off with a test for God of War 2018. On the left-hand side is the driver default. On the right-hand side is GPL. I'll leave the full video in the description down below. And this is one of those games where shader compilation can be a pretty serious problem. Usually it's a big issue on these AAA games that are trying to look good. They are trying to have these fancy graphics and... You know, that's the place where you're usually going to have more shaders. And as the camera tends to move around more, you'll notice a couple of these stutters. If you look at the green bar here, basically you want this bar to be as flat as possible. Jump ahead a little bit more to some new scenery. As he goes to pick up the log, you'll notice it does stutter a little bit. It's not a massive deal. Like, we're talking about a cutscene right now. But when we are in gameplay, like it's going into right now, you want this to have as little stutters as possible. And even in this case, it's still getting the occasional stutter. It does not have to be consistent to be annoying. Honestly, less consistency with stutters makes it worse. But it is important to mention that in a lot of cases, GPL is going to perform worse than DXVK Async. It's putting in mitigations to make sure things like this don't happen where you can see through the entire world and you're getting these really weird graphical bugs. So it won't be as good as that but it is going to be better than nothing at all. And for most cases, I'd probably prefer a little bit of stutter over the weird graphical bugs like this. But even with that, what GPL has over DXVK Async is it's going to work with mainline Proton. This is not an extra patch added on top of DXVK, added on top of Proton. This is something in your GPU driver. So as long as you go and enable it, you can use it anywhere you go. Also, when it gets enabled by default in 23.1, you won't even have to think about it. I don't know why, but there's a lot of users out there who don't use Proton GE. Generally, that is just my default. I've had really good experiences with some games where like cutscenes don't work and other things like that, and then Proton GE just fixes it. So a lot of the time, that's just where I go to. 
but that's just me. Most people out there, I would imagine, are just using mainline Proton unless something becomes a problem. I would imagine before the Steam Deck, most Linux gamers probably knew about GE, but as the Steam Deck made things a little bit more mainstream, it's still like, you know, this very niche thing, but a little bit more, I would imagine a lot of people just don't even know about it full stop. This is going to benefit them as well. Now, for the record, because I know someone is going to comment about it, you have been able to use GPL for quite a while if you make use of Mesa Devel, Mesa Git, something that is newer than the stable build of Mesa. I don't particularly like running something like that. I don't particularly like running a Git package for something that fundamental to my system. I like that being stable, and I just wait for the stable release. But, a lot of distros out there like the Ubuntu's of the world that have older dependencies, you might still be waiting quite a while for Mesa 23 to hit your distro. Hopefully with Lunar Lobster, it's 23.0 at a minimum. But I have my doubts, they might stick on the 22.x series. But no matter what distro you're using, you can just go and compile it yourself, or it's probably going to be available in some third-party repo somewhere if you feel comfortable installing that onto your system. I would stick with stable and just wait a little bit of time, but that's just me. So, do you experience stuttering in your games? Do you even play video games? Do you have any idea why you're here? Do you even know what a video game is? I feel like I've done this outro before, but I can't remember. Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to be it for me, and if you like the video, go and like the video. And if you really like the video, and you want to become one of these amazing people blah, 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 over here, Patreon, subscribe, star, verify, linked down below. That's going to be it for me, and touch grass.